So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I edit these images. Um, I hope that you're not disappointed in how uncomplicated my system is. Um, I feel like sometimes as photographers, we want something to be more complicated than it actually is, and it's not. Everything that I do is simple. Everything I do is reproducible, and anybody at any skill level can do it. So check it out. Okay, so let's edit some images. So I have um, run portraiture on this image of Hillary, and I've also run portraiture on this image of Claire. So we're going to edit both of these because I want to show you how I batch edit. Um, when I edit, I love to use actions. Um, there's slight hand editing, but for the most part I use actions because I like to batch process and it just is quick for me. And you know me, I'm all about simple. So, <laughs> um, the main action set I use is, uh, the painterly one from greater than Gatsby. I also use a couple of actions from Portrait Retouch Collection from Greater Than Gatsby, and then there is one action that I like from um, the Jessica Drossen actions, and they are kind of, I think, included, the basic actions of hers are included in most of her overlays um, sets, so I'll show you that. So I've already run portraiture on this image and this image, and so they're pretty much ready to go. That's really kind of all I do, unless there's some background editing I need to do, and there wasn't any with these two. So the way I'm going to batch edit is I'm going to click File in Photoshop. I'm gonna to go to Automate, and I'm gonna to go to Batch. From that over here where it says Play, you can go down and choose the action set that you want to use. I want to use um, Greater Than Gatsby Painterly Portrait Collection. And then I'm going to go to the action specific down here, which is Leonardo. It's the very first one in the Complete Workflow Foundation sets. And I'm going to click OK, and then it's going to run both of those actions on both images. So you can see that pop there. And then you can see, I'll take it off, it popped there. Um, and then I'm going to go back to batch and I'm going to click Campbell's Soup Cans. That's the first action in Painterly Tones. First action in Painterly Tones in the same action set, which is Painterly Portrait Collection. They're 50% um, off right now, so if you want those, you should probably get them. So you can see right there, it deepened all of the colors and the richness. And then I'll show you what it did to this one of Hillary. It pops those colors. If you want the background a little bit darker, um, sometimes I will drop down Leonardo Foundation and go down here to Brighten Shadows and then pull it down just a little bit. You can see it there. I'm going to do it about right there. And then let me see. I'm going to mess with it over here. So I go down to Brighten Shadows, and then I'm going to pull my slider down just a little bit. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and you can, I mean, before I do that, I just want you guys to see the difference that that makes. I mean, these actions are so incredible. I use them for my um, studio light uh photos and natural light photos and every single image I use Campbell's soup cans and the Leonardo um, foundation from that painterly one set. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten this image. I'm going to show you how I pop those lights in the background. There's several ways to do this. You can use um, a movable light uh, flare or you can just do what I'm going to do right here. So Jessica Drossen has this really cool paint pop highlights. Now the one that I have it in is the Illumination Instant Overlays and um, those overlays, there's a ton of overlays in there but then if you scroll down to the bottom there's bonus actions and that's where I found this and you're just going to click through. When you hit play you'll just click through and like I said it's paint pop highlights and then you're going to, it's going to pull up a mask, a layer mask, and it's going to be black. So you're going to go down here with your brush and then you're going to make sure that the opposite color is selected, which is white. And then I'll show you what it does. So I have a pretty big brush because it's a soft brush. So the edges are going to slowly fade. So 
I'm just going to go ahead and kind of turn on those lights. Pop those lights, maybe a little bit in here. And I'll show you the difference. You can also bring down that slider if it's a little bit too much, but I think it's really pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it on this image of Claire. Like I said, you just hit play and then you're just going to click through each one. And then I still have that. And it's almost like you're like magically turning on lights here. And just pop all of those. I'll show you what it looked like before and after. And I'm happy with that. I'm not an overthinker when it comes to editing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. So there's two different actions that I use on these depending on what the look that I'm going for. Um, so in another action set with Greater the Gatsby that I use is called the Portrait Retouch Collection. And it's really like pops eyes, there's hair, there's eyelashes you can add, a brush. It's really, really, really cool. I mean, there's a lot of really fun actions in it as far as facial retouching and hair retouching. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, though, there's a little action set and they're fine art finishes. And there's one in here called Sculpted that I really like. I'm going to hit play and show you what it does. It's going to flatten your image. It's going to tell you that. Sometimes it's a little overkill and I have to tone down the warmness. Like you can see that it kind of adds a little bit of warmness. I'm going to slide it down so that you can see. And sometimes I'll just use it to pop a little bit. Sometimes it adds a little bit of yellow, depending on the time of day that I've shot the natural light. My light is a little bit yellow. I'm going to go ahead and also run it on Claire. Let's see what it does. Well, that's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to kind of show you the pop. And you can always paint it into areas that you want it, but I'm pretty happy with this. It's really pretty. I like that. So really, I would probably just finish there on this image of Claire. Um, there is one more action that I think I'm going to show you on Hillary's. I'm going to go ahead and delete that sculpted layer. Jessica Drossen has another one um, in that little set of actions, and it's called Tone Golden Tones. And I'm just going to see what it's going to do here. Okay, so it kind of does what the sculpted one does, but it tones it down just a little bit. And so that's actually really pretty. I would probably stick with that, but since I've already edited the other images um, of Hillary in this spot with using this sculpted action. I want them to all look the same, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the sculpted. And that's really pretty. And like I said, you can always brush it onto the backdrop. I'm gonna go ahead and... So you could always brush it onto the backdrop and then avoid her face. Like if it doesn't, if you don't aren't happy with the tones that it's putting in their faces, you can always brush it off. And oh, I love that photo of Claire. Her hair is blowing in the wind and she just has a great expression and she just always does a great job. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do the snow. So the snow um, are the winter play uh, snow overlays from Summer Anna, Summer Anna, whatever. And so I'm going to see there's a lot of different ones. And I kind of like 15. I'm going to put that on here. This my. Let's look for a different one. Something a little bit more subtle. I'm on 11 right now. I don't really like that. That's kind of blowing. Let's try 34 and see what it looks like. Yeah, I like 34. So I'm going to pull it. It's going to come and it's going to be black. And you're going to be like, what in the world? If you go down to your um, layers over here and go to screen, anytime you have something with a black backdrop, um, you're going to choose screen. And whatever's black is just going to be basically clear. So I'm going to turn it on and off and show you. Um, I don't really care for that big snowflake right there. So I'm going to kind of do it like that. And then I don't really like it on their face, and some people are very opinionated on that. Like, the smile's going to be, I don't really care. This is not real. 
and I don't want snow on their face, so I mask it off. I will usually keep it like right here on their hair because that's, you know, realistic, but I don't like it on their face. And it just adds a little bit to the image. I love it. And so that's pretty much, I'm going to stick with that. And you can see that didn't take long. So if we wanted to add some snow to Hillary's shot, let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. If I hit shift while I'm rotating, it's going to do it at a perfect 90 degree angle every time I rotate it. So I'm going to pull that that size and I'm going to come back over here and choose screen. And then I'm going to add a layer mask over here. Choose my brush as black since that layer is white. And then I'm just going to brush it off of her face, probably around her neck too. And I don't really like that distracting big snowflake, so I'm going to go ahead and, and there we go. Just a little bit of subtle little snowflakes. And that's it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And honestly, I probably could have done it quicker if I wasn't showing you guys. So I hope that wasn't so easy that you're like, wait a minute, that can't be right. But it is. That's why I love actions. I love Greater Than Gatsby actions. They're my favorite. They're 50% off right now. Um, so if I were you, I would run over there. Uh, the next sale will probably be um, Cyber Monday. So they just really save me a whole lot of time. And I just love the way they pop these images. If you guys have any questions, be sure and let me know. I'm going to go live or you can always message me or post in the Baby Dream Backdrops group. See you later. So the Nutcrackers and I want to say thank you for joining us in this video. I really hope that you have at least gotten one thing out of this that you can use you know, for even if it's not this backdrop, it was just shooting in general, posing, props, whatever. Um, I just hope that you got something from this. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask because I'm usually hanging out in the backdrop group. So see you next time.